Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, all eyes are back on the tropics again as another tropical storm starts to develop between Fiji and Vanuatu. Back in New Zealand though, we've got a southerly coming through. The temperatures are dropping significantly around the southern half of the South Island. This is where the system is. The red circle means there is now a high chance of this becoming a tropical cyclone by the end of Wednesday, so keep an eye on that one. It's likely to come in towards the New Zealand area either this weekend or Monday, so we'll show you that in a moment. Let's take a look now at our weather for the next few days ahead, and as we take a look at the Wednesday setup, you can see a new developing low around northern New Zealand. It's going to push in some patchy rain. It won't be raining for everybody, but some will get showers, others will get rain, a couple of heavier falls, and as the dose low starts to deepen, you will start to notice the easterly quarter winds developing, and that up there is our tropical storm. By the time we reach Thursday, that low in the north is quite sizable but it's not very deep. The air pressure down around 1,003 hectopascals. Patchy rain and showers. The easterlies are a little bit brisk through central parts of the country and the South Island is wondering what we're talking about because it's mostly settled under high pressure there. Although it does change on Friday, the low falls apart but there's generally a long line of low pressure out here just to the east of the country high pressure out to the west. So as we end the working week, the winds could be pretty blustery from the easterly quarter in both islands. They could be pretty windy through the mountains and on the lee side of the hills. Showers, they continue around the east. Now into the weekend, this is what Saturday looks like. According to the GFS modeling, that's the American modeling, they were bang on with Cyclone Gita, but just like a sports team, just because they got a, you know, they were number one last time doesn't mean they're number one guaranteed next time. So we always have to look at all the different computer models, and we as forecasters try and work out which one each time is the one that we think is the most accurate. It can be a bit of a tricky job. So you can see here on Saturday, the American computer models are picking this will be further to the east with high pressure pushing in the south. South, bit of a squash zone here, so windy southeasterlies continue. And then by Sunday, they show the American model, show the storm just out to the east of East Cape. The biggest thing we'd be getting out of that would be a bit of wind, a few showers, and some big swells around there. But when I show you the uh, European model, this is what they are saying for Monday. So they're picking it to be a slower tracking storm where it has a perhaps more western. Uh, pull to it, which could therefore mean it directly comes in to northern New Zealand. So this is definitely still one to keep an eye on as we track through the next few days of modelling. This is the current satellite map of it, and this is Vanuatu, New Caledonia, and the top of New Zealand. So this is the next storm to keep an eye on. That is all from me. Our next update will be on Wednesday. <laughs>